Hi, welcome to Beijing Minutes. The top stories were on China. My name is Brian Michael Galvin. This week, China experienced the worst smog of the year so far, disrupting the activities of hundreds of millions of people. During the past six days, the PM 2.5 readings in many cities exceeded 500 micrograms per cubic meter. More than 20 cities, including Beijing, issued red alerts. Schools, airports, and highways closed due to poor visibility. In other news, China's foreign ministry has sent its condolences to Turkey and Germany following acts of violence in both countries. Russia's ambassador to Turkey, Andrei Karlov, was shot dead in Ankara by an off-duty Turkish police officer. In Berlin, a truck plowed into a crowded Christmas market, killing at least 12 people in what the authorities believe could be a terrorist attack. China strongly opposes any forms of terrorism. China will support counterterrorism operations in Russia and Turkey and join the international community in strengthening the fight against terrorism. Also, Macau marks the 17th anniversary of his return to China on December 20th. To mark the occasion, thousands of people attended the flag-raising ceremony at the Golden Lotus Square, located in the Macau Special Administrative Region, formerly a Portuguese colony. Macau's chief executive, Chui Sai On, said that he looked forward to further development between Macau and the Chinese mainland. Well, thanks for watching this week's edition of Beijing Minutes. Please feel free to any questions or comments that you'd like for us to answer in the next week's video. Thank you very much.